I do look I do look like <laughs> Bella's dad from Twilight though, don't yes. I? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't not look like him. Exactly. Uh-huh. Exactly. So I think we should have that, you know, little awkward conversation that we have to have to get out of the way. You know what I mean? Yep. You are dating my best friend. Yeah. Which I'm happy about because you're lovely and she's lovely. But yep. as her best friend, I have to tell you, if you hurt her in any way, I do have to beat the shit out of you. Absolutely. I'm Absolutely. talking about Hell's Angels getting involved, you know, mafia, everything and everyone to kick the ever living shit out of you, drag you behind the bikes, <laughs> round town, let it be a warning yeah. to the others. You know what I mean? I, I will be hurt. Yes. If you I get do it. actually hurt her, I am going to come to your house in the middle of the night while you sleep. I'm going to bring a machete. I'm going to come me, myself, and I. It's just going to be me because if I bring the mafia and Hell's Angels, witnesses, you know what I mean? So it's just going to be me, a machete, maybe some poison, maybe, you know, I don't know, a snake, if I can find one. Where can you find a good snake nowadays? Anyway. I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to get you while you sleep. And I'm going to strangle you with plastic wrap. I'm going to threaten you with a machete so you wet yourself. You know what I mean? Um, and you just pee because you're so frightened. And then I'm going to put you in the backyard. I'm going to like dig up a hole. I'm going to put you in a coffin. I'm going to put you in the ground. I'm going to let you sweat it out. And then I'm going to come back about 40 minutes later so that you're barely clinging on to life and then I'm going to make it seem like I'm there to rescue you and I'm not me and you're going to get your hopes up and then I'm going to open it up you're going to think that you're saved and then I'm going to like actually machete you to death till you're dead like dead fully dead can't tell where your face is anymore and then you'll be dead and you'll be grateful you're going to thank god that you're dead because my god the fear you know the fear and you're just so happy to be out of it and then you'll have a few good years until i die and then i'm gonna find you and i'm gonna fucking haunt you i'm just gonna fuck with you every day just for like funsies and then you know you're gonna get Stockholm syndrome and you're just gonna like lose it and you're gonna fall in love with me and then we're gonna actually get together and we're gonna have a couple of kids Anna and Stevie but you know we only have maybe six months of good with all of us family unit all that stuff and then the kids are gonna start to resent you and they're gonna hate you and then we're gonna get a divorce and you're barely gonna see your kids you're gonna get maybe to see them every two weeks supervised of course not gonna let you see them alone Anna is always crying whenever she sees you now. She fucking hates that mustache, wants nothing to do with you, but you're still her dad. She still likes you a little bit. You know, you've like wormed your way into her heart. However, Stevie fucking hates you. He's on my side, doesn't want to go. I make him go to one visitation. Otherwise he's done. He's out. You miss him. Of course you do. He's your son. So all of this can be avoided. The good news is all of this can be avoided. If you don't be a dick, to my best friend. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Hey. Great. So, so easy. Such a smooth conversation. Blech, I hate that, but like it needed to happen. Are, are you, are you this, this scary to all of her boyfriends or? Dude, I took it so easy on you. Easy? Yeah. God, do you remember Kyle? Yeah. Whatever happened to Kyle? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 